Hi there. Now, for this example, we're given that a continuous random variable x is uniformly distributed over the interval b to 4b, where b is a constant. And in part a, we've got to write down e of x for one mark. Part b, use integration to show that the variance of x equals 3b squared, all divided by 4, for three marks. And in part c, find the variance of 3 minus 2x for 2 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check your answer, or take your time and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for the first one, write down e of x for one mark. It's obviously got to be very straightforward, just simply no working. But before we do this, because we're going to need it later on anyway, is what I want to do is just sketch what this distribution would look like. Being a uniform distribution, it's going to be essentially a horizontal continuous line. So. If I mark my axes as f of x and x, we're going between b and 4b. Now, this is not drawn to scale, but just to give you, hopefully, some idea. And so it's going to be a line, say, something like that. And it's going to be 0 otherwise. So we'll just draw on top of that axis there. Now, you could join up from the top here, straight the way down to the b straight down to the 4b. Some people do dotted lines there, it's up to you. Now, it's important that we work out what this height is here. And knowing that the area must come to 1, this width here is 3b, then this has got to be 1 divided by 3b. 1 over 3b multiplied by 3b would give us 1, represented by that area. Now, e of x then, just returning back to that part of the problem, e of x is going to be right in the middle here because the graph is symmetrical. So to get the mean, all I've got to do is just add the values together. That would be b plus 4b and divide that all by 2. So what we end up with is 5b then divided by Two. Now in part b, it's quite unusual for this particular type of question. We've got to use integration to find out what the variance of x is and show that it's 3b squared over 4. Normally, we could just quote it from the formula. But for this one, we've got to work it out from first principles. So when it comes to working out the variance of x, remember it's always given by e of x squared minus e of x all squared. Now, e of x all squared, well, by integration, that's going to be the integral going from the lower limit to the upper limit here, which will be b to 4b. And then it's x squared times f of x, integrated with respect to x. Now, f of x is going to always be 1 over 3b over this interval here. So it's going to be multiplied by 1 divided by 3b, and then we integrate that all with respect to x. So that's e of x squared, and then we've got minus e of x all squared. Well, we've just seen that e of x was 5b over 2, so we've got minus 5b divided by 2 all squared. So, to work this out, well, 1 over 3b is a constant, so I'm going to pull this out the front of the integral. So we've got 1 over 3b, and then integrating x squared gives us x cubed over 3. So we've got x cubed divided by 3, and this goes between the limits of b to 4b. And then we've got minus all of this squared, so it's going to be 25b squared, all divided by 4. Now, I can pull out this 3 
in the denominator here. It's a third, it's a constant. So we're going to have 1 over 3b times another third. So that's going to be 1 divided by 9b. And then I've got just to substitute 4b in for x cubed. So we're going to have 4b all cubed. And then it's going to be subtract and we substitute x as a b. So it's going to be minus b cubed. Close that bracket off there. And we've got minus 25 b squared all divided by 4. And if we carry this on just down here, let's just put back that the variance of x equals, well, We've got 4b cubed minus b cubed here. That's 64b cubed minus b cubed. That's 63b cubed. And that's all divided by 9b. And we've also got the last term minus 25b squared over 4. So we can clean this up. This b here cancels into the b cubed, just leaving me with b squared. And the 9 cancels into 63 7 times. So we've got 7b squared minus 25 over 4b squared. Well, 7b squared is in quarters 28b squared over 4. So 28 quarters minus 25 quarters just leaves me with 3 quarters. And that would be multiplied with b squared. And that's what we had to show. OK. Now when it comes on to part C, where we've got to work out the variance of 3 minus 2x, then we just pick up on the fact that this is the same as the variance of the constant, which will be 0. Then when we've got a negative here, it becomes a positive, And we've got 2 squared, so it becomes 2 squared times the variance of the random variable x, a result that we should be familiar with. And then this is going to be 4 times then the variance of x, which we've just seen is 3 quarters b squared. And if we multiply this out, we end up with 3b squared. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about this. And uh, hope you're able to get it all correct. If not, hopefully you've been able to see where you've gone wrong or how to do it.